Thanks for tuning in to Electric Bike Journal. Join us as we take a look at the Haybike Tyson. Well, the Haybike Tyson is a class three electric bike. So yes, it does have a top speed of 28 miles per hour. It does have a thumb throttle located on the handlebars there, and it does have that pedal assist. Of course, uh, it is an electric bike. And what's unique about the Tyson is that it has a foldable frame. So for those of you looking to have something that's a little bit more compact, something that you can squeeze and fit into uh, different places of a shed or your garage, or maybe even in your RV or the back of the truck, um, that folding frame there lets you swing the front half around to the rear end there, kind of make it a little bit tighter and smaller. The handlebars also do fold down as well. So it just really makes this bike that is rather large, um, get rather small. Getting into the specs on the Haybike Tyson, the Tyson uses a magnesium unibody frame. Um, the battery is located there in the top tube in the front half. Then it has a very sturdy hinge there in the center of the frame. And uh, being a full suspension bike, that rear end there is able to articulate with that rear shock. And it's a kind of a two piece channeled magnesium uh, swing arm there. Uh, so no chain stay, it just has that upper piece that swoops down. So it adds a really cool look and definitely stands out against other electric bikes, especially electric folding bikes. The Tyson here uses hydraulic disc brakes. Uh, so you get really good stopping power. Um, they've worked very well for us, uh, stop you just like you want them to stop. We're big fans of hydraulic disc brakes and it uses a Shimano seven speed drivetrain. So um, you can pedal this bike. You don't have to use that throttle. So having those seven gears makes pedaling it around a lot easier. The front end, you see a coil fork with a preload adjustment and there is a kind of like a dampener adjustment on the right side there that you can add more tension to kind of lock it out. Um, or soften it up so it really has a lot of play. As you can tell, 20 inch mag wheels, so no spokes, nothing to go out of true. Uh, just really stiff, really sturdy, really durable, so you can kind of hit bumps and curbs or whatever and not have to worry about the wheel going out of true or bending. Um, and then on those wheels are 20 inch by four inch wide fat tires. Pretty aggressive out on this dirt, stuff like that. No suffering at all for traction. They're holding up very well and on the road, um, as long as they are aired up well, uh, you can get cruising, no problem. Um, so they don't really take away from that road performance uh, when zipping around and taking turns and stuff. As a weekend fun bike or a daily commuter, the rear rack on the Tyson is very nice to have there. Uh, I've definitely put a pannier bag on the back there and done a quick grocery run to get a few things in there. And it was great to be able to have the storage on the back of the bike and be able to cruise around no problem. For the taller riders, uh, the seat post does come up quite a bit. You have plenty of length there. I'm six foot tall and you can see the seat is up pretty far, uh, but there's still plenty of room to go higher even with that. And depending on your torso length as well, there is a telescoping uh, stem handlebar situation on here. So you can raise those bars up even higher. It does have lights on it. There's a nice bright headlight located here and a tail light in the back that will light up. Um, which is just great for being visible out on the road and having light available on hand. Now the Tyson does have connectivity with smartphones, so you can use an, the Haybike app to connect to the bike. Uh, from the app, you can see different readouts and, and data from the bike, uh, as well as be able to modify the tune. So if you want to change some of the pedal assist modes to kind of fit better, maybe for your, where you're riding more often, um, or maybe the jumps between the pedal assist modes are too much, or you just don't wanna do pedal assist five at 28 miles per hour. You can decrease those modes if you want to, um, but I'm sure many of you probably aren't interested in doing that. The Tyson comes in at 16.99, uh, and there are a few different color options. So if you're looking for something with a little bit more color than the black and gold you see here, um, be sure to check the website. There are a few other options, like I said. Overall weight is 77 pounds, so it isn't the lightest of electric bikes, but it does have a 400 pound load capacity. And if you're looking for that suspension, those fat tires, and the foldability to be able to make it compact, um, 77 pounds is not much of a deal breaker, especially when you can put a lot of weight on there and still take it out on some pretty rough roads. 
If you're looking for any more specifications on the Tyson, be sure to check our website or their website uh, to find any of those numbers that might be missing, um, length, height, stuff like that. But we'll get into some of those numbers later as well in our impressions. For now, let's jump into some ride experience. Well, getting started here in the pedal assist mode one, this little dirt trails back here to go explore. Kind of went through the settings using the app and increased the speeds a little bit just to, uh, you know, have a little more fun, go a little bit faster. And it's nice that within the app you can customize. This is a relatively groomed dirt path and the suspension on the fork there feels uh, pretty good. Um, there is a little bit of flex uh, in that front end there because of that really long steer tube, um, but you can't really feel a whole lot. So it's almost not worth mentioning. Tires though feel pretty uh, tacky, pretty easy to navigate through stuff. Getting good traction on the dirt here. Pretty simple navigation. The display is really easy to read. It does sync up to your phone. So you do have control of the app there and you can hit play to begin uh, tracking your route. And there's fun things within the app there that will show you your carbon offset and stuff like that, as well as let you customize the pedal assist modes. Well, I'm in the highest gear here. I'm just gonna get pedaling and I'm half a stroke in and the motor kicks in, uh, gets you going real quick. And like I said, I did change those pedal assist modes. So it just feels like a really comfortable speed on trails like this when other people could be coming the other direction. You don't wanna go too fast. I know standing up and riding, uh, those high handlebars and even being able to raise those up higher if you need to uh, makes it really comfortable when you're on the throttle and want to stand up at a roof side. Going back this way, let's go back here. Um, but yeah, deals great and the brakes work very well. It's nice that little short wheelbase, those little tight turns are really easy um, to navigate this bike around. And you can those tight turns, no big deal. Something that is neat here is that you do have that quick adjust on the fork, so all the way counterclockwise negative uh, makes it really springy. And if you crank that around to the plus, there goes your spring. So you can kind of fine tune that to the type of terrain you're in. Um, you know, halfway is generally a good place to leave it, but you obviously get to decide that yourself. Um, the rear shock uh, does work. Uh, I don't really feel it a whole lot um, compared to maybe a full suspension mountain bike, um, but that's not to say it's not working. Uh, it's definitely doing something because this seat would be a lot more bumpy on this kind of terrain. The only thing you gotta watch out for here, if you are to take it off road, is this little bracket down low. Um, that is for when you fold the bike up and you wanna position it to balance upright. Um, it does sit kind of low. It isn't lower than the pedals if your pedal goes all the way down. So if you're going over something that's really bumpy or some logs or rocks or something, uh, if your pedal's gonna hit, there's a good chance that might hit too. So just pay attention to that. Um, but so far I haven't had any problems with clipping it on anything. And uh, you would know uh, because it would definitely stop me very quickly. Well, let's get back to riding and uh, get over to our impressions. Let's go ahead and kick that into a, a higher mode there and get up to speed on some dirt. So this is five all the way opened up, uh, which you can do in the app. Add snap. Just about max speed on dirt, and it's very smooth. Obviously, it's relatively smooth dirt, but I think we're gonna, uh, yeah, not overly bumpy. For some riders, um, the foldable, if you aren't very mobile, that is a uh, pretty high step to get your foot over. Um, and if you do have that seat all the way up uh, for leg extension when pedaling, uh, it's you know gonna be a lot to swing around. It's just something to note when looking at this. Um, 
a lower top tube step through model might be a better option between the two but um, if that isn't a problem and leaning this over to get your leg over or however you want to do it is something you can navigate um, nothing to worry about there the rear rack is very wide very large i put this tubal gear bag on there and it fits very nicely despite being a foldable frame it uh, really is rather stiff on that hinge. You don't feel the frame itself flex at all, um, which is nice. It's very robust and uh, definitely secures in place very well. Uh, for those of you that were concerned about the rigidity of that folding mechanism. Now, when you're out on the pavement, just cruising around, um, definitely feels like you're not going as fast because you don't have those trees whooshing by. Um, so being able to kick up into a higher pedal assist mode and safely feel like you have time to anticipate everything coming around. Uh, the bike really does have a lot of power and uh, really gets you going quickly. And now when we slow down and you're underneath the speed of whatever pedal assist mode you're in, um, because each mode is regulated by a speed, um, when it decides to kick on with the throttle, it kind of will pull you back a little bit, so you'd be prepared for that. Um, just an on-off switch, really. And when you're pedaling and you want to get that motor to kick in, I mean, it's a little bit more smooth. So a nice little hill right here, nothing too crazy. Just pedal assist mode three and uh, cruise lap, no problem at all. Uh, it's a very shallow hill, nothing crazy dramatic, but uh, very easy to get uh, at speed. Uh, if you're concerned about cars at all in tight areas like that. Well, first impressions on the Haybike Tyson, when it shows up in the mail, it's really easy to get set up and get out riding. Um, all you have to do is install the headlight, the front fender, and put the front wheel on, and it's pretty much ready to go. I added some air to the tires and just kind of ran through the gears and checked the brakes to make sure that they were all performing how they should. And sure enough, they were ready to go. So after charging it up, we were able to take it out for that ride that you just watched. And we're really surprised that 750 watt motor really does have a lot of power. Um, something to be mindful of that when you give it throttle or you start pedaling and it kicks in, that motor kicks in, uh, it will kind of pull you back a little bit. It has a real fast ramp up and then kind of tapers. So that was a little bit of a learning curve. You know, it happened a couple of times and then you're expecting it. And so you're able to be gripped on and ready for that to happen. Once you're up to speed and pedaling, um, the throttle's really reactive, the pedaling's really reactive, and it just cruises. Um, switching through the modes, I felt like the jumps between the original tune were kind of large and so I went into the app just to experience it and explore and being able to adjust those pedal assist modes to kind of set different speed parameters for each mode um, really made this bike a little bit more fun to ride around town. Um, definitely encourage you to play with that app and play with those speed limits, you know, adjusting a mile or two difference here and there will really change how you can ride this bike and which pedal assist modes that you'll find yourself riding it. As an off-road capable electric bike, uh, it is capable off-road for sure. You know, out in empty spaces like this, gravel roads, stuff like that, it's gonna be a lot of fun to ride. And like I said, it has a lot of power and it has hydraulic disc brakes. So you're getting nice braking power as well to kind of keep you under control. And the fat tires really do offer uh, a lot of good grip for this bike. Um, the 77 pounds kind of disappears when you're riding it. You really only notice it if you have to pick it up. Um, but if you're just rolling it around or riding it, uh, that higher weight is really unnoticeable and I didn't really find myself thinking about it at all. Now I mentioned it in the ride experience. I kind of hopped off the bike there and pointed out a few things, but the leather grips are super comfortable. But if you happen to get sweaty hands um, or maybe it's raining, I did notice that they were kind of slick. So if, uh, if you find yourself maybe slipping your hands off those grips, uh, we definitely encourage you to check out um, maybe some rubber grips uh, to replace those that would still be comfortable and could even get some with the same shape. Um, but just be cautious of that. Additionally, 
the bracket that is on these types of bikes that sits kind of down low underneath there, it is in a good spot for folding this bike up and keeping it balanced. But if you are to ride out in places like this, um, it is just kind of like a bar down low that could get hooked up on little sticks and logs or big rocks or something. So if you are adventurous and really billy goating around, um, be cautious of what you're riding through and what you're riding over because that is one more thing hanging up down there that could catch and uh, could be a problem. Um, so just be mindful of that. Overall though, for $16.99, uh, if you're looking for a foldable electric bike that has a lot of power, it has that class three rating, the Tyson is a really good looking electric bike that is really gonna be the right bike for a lot of people. Um, we've had a lot of fun riding it and uh, it doesn't quite fit our personal riding style and what we wanna ride the most, um, but we can definitely see who it would make sense for. And uh, you know, it looks cool too. The, the, the rear swing arm there really is something that I like uh, looks wise about this bike. Um, it has that kind of futuristic modern look to it. So um, thanks again for watching. If you're interested in the Hay Bike Tyson, leave a comment down below. Let us know your thoughts. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe because that helps our channel grow. And uh, thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next one.